Hey, I'm Daniel. Let's jump right into CS50 Week 8. So Week 8 is all about the beginning of web application development. And we're going to jump right into it by taking a look at HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So as usual, we have our video for this week, which is great. And just a recap of what we're doing exactly. We're going to be using some basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create some web pages. So as we know, HTML is a markdown language. CSS is a styling language for HTML. And then JavaScript is an actual programming language for us to create scripts to execute different functions. So we're going to use all three of those. So let's go ahead and go right to lab eight, which is trivia. Lab eight is pretty chill because what we want to do is we basically want to modify this setup that we see here to create a sort of trivia web page for people, for our users. And let's go ahead and take a look at the code for that. Yeah, we're basically going to use specific JavaScript functions here in our script to basically listen for clicks on different buttons for our trivia page. So for example, in this first part, we have the function is going to look at whether our answer for a multiple choice question is correct or not. So if it is correct, then we want the button color to turn green and we want to tell the user with the inner HTML code, hey, correct, that's great. Otherwise, we want to, if it's incorrect, have the button turn red and then tell the user, hey, that was incorrect. So what's happening here is basically we're only going to have one button that's correct and we can have multiple incorrects. So for correct, if the correct button is clicked, the only one that is valid for that, then we want to do, as we said, change the color and everything. But for every incorrect button, we want to loop over all of those buttons. And anytime any of those are clicked, we want each of those to turn red. And in addition to outputting the inner HTML, it's also going to output the feedback one, which will code down below. And then this is for basically the second trivia question. This document query selector is going to be a field input, so not a multiple choice input. And it's going to allow us to ask the user to see if they know the answer to a trivia question by inputting the text that they think is correct. So in this case, I'm going to scroll down to the question I have for that. So the question I wrote is, what is the scientific name of the group which contains dragonflies and damselflies? So it's a pretty nerdy entomology question that I think people won't really know without Googling, which is totally fine. It's just an example. So the name of that group is called Odonata. So if the user happens to input the correct answer, which is Odonata, then I want the background color of the button to turn green. And I want the user to know, hey, correct, that's great. Otherwise, I want it to the button to turn red and then output incorrect. So that's what's happening right there. OK, so I ended up modifying the questions just based on my own interest. So for the first multiple choice question, I have it asking, in what year was the first Godzilla movie created, or I released, rather? And the correct answer is 1954. It's actually a pretty good movie, genuinely. I know a lot of the older Godzilla movies get like really action-y and fun, but the first one is pretty somber and reflective. So, But just a note, yeah, so. And then feedback one, I mentioned we will code that down below. Feedback one is really just going to be right here. Please select uh, an answer. And then once they select an answer, feedback, it'll change to whether it's incorrect or correct. And then we can check out the implementation of this field input. So if they input the correct answer, then we'll have it say, hey, correct. Otherwise, it won't say correct. Uh, let me see. Please enjoy clicking this fancy button. 
I don't know if this ended up doing anything. I think I was trying to just experiment with this, but we can check it out right now. So let's go ahead and CD into trivia. Okay, and then HTTP server. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and click on here and then check it out. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Right, okay, I think I, for that last one I was just experimenting with some stuff. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, it's been like a few weeks since I actually worked on this one. But anyways, yeah, so we can see that I ended up modifying the colors as well just to do something a little bit different. And if we go through these and say, oh, was Godzilla released in 1933? No, incorrect. 1978? No. 1954? Correct. So that's going to input that. And then if I type, you know, potato, that's incorrect. And it'll actually reset the page. But if I end up typing Odonata, it's correct. So that's trivia right there. And then we can go ahead and go to the next setup, which is going to be homepage. So homepage is for problem set eight. Basically the idea of homepage is to create a web page that interests you. Basically what sort of thing that you would like to create for your own web page, whether it's about yourself or like a hobby you enjoy, maybe your favorite board game or sport, but really anything that interests you. That's the point of this problem set. So what I personally did is I created a just a simple web page that's all about the um, what's it called all about myself so it actually has a few different pages as well and I'm not gonna really walk through the code I don't think that's really needed for this one but I'll just explain it a little bit over here so let me go ahead and CD into home page and then do the HTTP server and then we'll go ahead and head over okay so this is my home page and this is a work in progress so I actually would like to develop this into like my actual personal website but for now just for the sake of getting the practice in I went ahead and used bootstrap to get this navigation bar yeah it ends up being it looking a little funky but that, that's okay, I'm not worried about it. And I say funky because it wasn't all like off to the side. Originally it was like centered pretty nicely, but that's okay. I can fix that later. But yeah, so I used Bootstrap to get this navigation bar. And then here I just put some different information about like my LinkedIn profile, my uh, YouTube channel. And in about, yeah, this is basically I ended up reusing the code from Trivia to create an interactive about me page. So like for instance, I ask the user like, which of these would you guess is my favorite book? So if they say Inferno, incorrect, but I love Inferno, like really good book. Uh, maybe Lord of the Rings, ooh, also really good, but not, not quite my favorite. 1984 is also good, but it would be Brothers Karamazov, like super good book. It's a big one, but it's definitely definitely worth reading and then this is just a little bit more about me in a fun way so like I'll ask the user have you recently enjoyed one of my favorite foods a chicken burrito and if they have like if they say yes or yes with like a capitalized Y then it'll say yay and then it'll reset the page so just a fun little thing I love chicken burrito so this um, yeah all of these pages are not really started but I wanted to get the framework ready for me to actually go back in later and actually make this a robust personal website. So I'm looking forward to doing that actually. But that's that's pretty much it actually for for week eight really. Um, yeah, it's trivia homepage. So yeah, feel free to have fun with it. Like with trivia, you can customize anything. Like you can customize the types of question structures and the, the colors for homepage. Make it something that's interesting to you. Have fun with that. Hope that helped.